Scientech presents Semtel's technology learning software, Robotics. In this lecture of Stepper Motor, we will understand the following topics. First let's understand, what is Stepper Motor? Stepper Motor or Step Motor is a brushless or synchronous motor, which divides a full rotation into a number of steps. A Stepper Motor rotates in discrete step angles, such as 30, 15, 5, 2.5, 2 and 1.8. By construction, the step motors come into three broad classes, that is, permanent magnet stepper, variable reluctance stepper and hybrid stepper motor. First, we will start with Construction of permanent magnet stepper motor. A permanent magnet stepper motor consists of a stator with windings and a rotor with permanent magnet poles. Next we see working of permanent magnet stepper motor. Here, the rotor and stator poles of a permanent magnet stepper are not teethed, instead, the rotor have alternative north and south poles, parallel to the axis of the rotor shaft. Now, when a stator is energized, it develops electromagnetic poles. Here, magnetic rotor aligns along magnetic field of the stator. Other stator is then energized in the sequence. So that rotor moves and aligns itself to new magnetic field. This way, energizing the stators in a fixed sequence, rotates the stepper motor by fixed angles. The resolution of a permanent magnet stepper motor can be increased by increasing the number of poles in the rotor, increasing the number of phases and also by increasing the number of coil in phases. Now let's see, construction of variable reluctance stepper motor. In variable reluctance stepper motor, the rotor is teethed and made of metal, but it is not permanently magnetized. Now, working of variable reluctance stepper motor. The variable reluctance stepper has a toothed non-magnetic soft iron rotor. When the stator coil is energized, the rotor moves to have a minimum gap between the stator and its teeth. Here, as we see, the teeth of the rotor are designed so that when they are aligned with one stator, they get misaligned with the next stator. Now, when the next stator is energized, the rotor moves to align its teeth with the next stator. This way, energizing stators in a fixed sequence, completes the rotation of the step motor. As we see in animation, the resolution of a variable reluctance stepper motor can be increased by increasing the number of teeth in the rotor, by increasing the number of phases, and also by increasing the number of turns in phase. Next is construction of hybrid stepper motor. In hybrid stepper motor, Rotor has teeth placed on the directional axis. Here, the rotor is divided into parts between constant magnet poles. Now, working of hybrid stepper motor. A hybrid stepper. 
is a combination of both permanent magnet and the variable reluctance. It has a magnetic teethed rotor, which better guides magnetic flux, to preferred location in the air gap. As we see in animation, the magnetic rotor has 48 teeth, in which 24 for North Poles and 24 for the South Poles. The rotor teeth are designed, so that the North and South Poles arrange in alternative manner. After studying this, we can see that the hybrid motor rotates on same principle of energizing the stator coils in a sequence. Next we see, stepping modes of stepper motor. The stepping mode, refers to the pattern of sequence, in which stator coils are energized. There are three stepping modes of a stepper motor, that are, wave drive mode, full drive mode, and half drive mode. First is, wave drive mode. In wave drive stepping mode, only one phase is energized at a time. This method is very inefficient and produces less torque than other methods. Next is full drive mode. In this method of stepping, the motor energizes both phases constantly, to achieve full rated torque, at all positions of the motor. Now, in half drive mode, alternately one and two phases are energized. This increases the resolution of the motor. Here, we see a program to interface stepper motor with 8051 microcontroller in wave drive stepping modes. As you can see in program, it is a header file for 8051 microcontroller programming. First, we define the port P2 as output port. Now, defining the main function. Here, while 1 provides infinite loop. Now, sending 0 act. 01 to port P2, by this, stepper motor rotates by one step. After that, we provide delay. Here, we define our delay function. Now, defining integer i. In this loop the value of i time is 350, so this loop run from the value, 0 to 350. Now, same process is applied, and stepper motor rotates continuously. Now let's see, applications of a stepper motor. Stepper motors are used in a wide variety of applications, in industry, computer peripherals, business machines, motion control and robotics, which are included in process control and machine tool applications. For more information, please visit our website, www.scientechlearning.com.